Huh? Well, it's time for another webisode. Not episode, no, webisode of American Standard Fantasy. How are you? Dick Robinson right here with the Food of Life and of Love, a thing called music. M U S I C, no noise. No N O I S E. You have to go elsewhere for noise. We play the great American songbook, The Food of Life and of Love. Now, last week, when we left you, we're about, speaking of food of life and of love, we were eating some lasagna. And my guest is back one more time. Hi. Christina, <laughs> Lady Christina, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, Glad I'm Glad to I'm, be I'm, back. You're, you're by demand. By demand. <laughs> We've got Steve Sadler. We've got uh, that great Steve Parker, my brother here. We've got uh, a girl that's going to tell us about seeing Cher. Now, years ago, years ago, years ago, we have someone that brought in a picture of yours truly, and guess where Cher was? I heard this story. I saw this picture. You told me. Uh, what was it? What was it? That was the picture of Cher getting a pedicure for the her, first time. Her first pedicure. You got to witness that. It was at Giovanni's Beauty Salon in New York. We went in there, and. Uh, Ahmad Erdogan and Wexler were the founders of Atlantic Records. Okay. And if you ever saw the motion picture, Ray, did you see the Ray Charles? Yes, yes. Yeah. You, they played a part in that. Oh. And so when I went up there, Sonny was there, and it was time to get Cher. And I said to Ahmad Erdogan, the head of Atlantic Records, I said, where's Cher? Well, she's over at Giovanni's Beauty Salon. So they got me a limo. They got me a, a brownie Hawkeye camera, and we went over, and here's the picture now. We're putting it up. We're putting it up, and thank you very much, Billy from Boca Raton. Thank you for sending in the picture of yours truly. That's Cher, first pedicure. We have a girl right here in the audience before we begin who just recently saw Cher. When was the last time? Did you ever see Cher? No, I haven't, and I'm so upset that I've never seen her. No, don't be upset any longer, because we have somebody coming in. Do you know her name? The girl that was with Cher? Do you know the girl's name? The one that saw Cher? Yeah. Oh, I know her name. Her name is Shelby. Shelby? Yes. Is that like a Mustang or a GT? Shelby! <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good. Uh, before we begin the program, you were in Vegas? And and how is how is Auntie Cher? Mm -hmm. is I she can't really? believe she's seventy one. You're doing that. Seventy one. I can't. Let me see. It was nineteen sixty five when she was. I got you, babe. Come on, Steve. You can do that. <laughs> I got you, babe. I got you, babe. Thank you. That's. She's uh, actually saying that. When she's saying. Oh, did she? Yeah, she's saying it to a video of Sonny. Oh, is that right? Sonny Bono was a great guy. Her husband and. Uh, they were sensational, and they were just kicking the chair. I got you, babe, and and what's another what's another great Sonny and Cher song? Baby, don't go. Oh. And when I played Baby, don't go on the airwaves in Hartford and in Boston, I played Baby, don't go, and somebody called and they said, I'm a babysitter, and I just saw, <laughs> I just told <laughs> the baby that I'm changing. <laughs> Baby, don't go. Do you understand that? Right? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Can we begin? Do you know Paul Anka at all? Do you know Frank Sinatra? Francis Albert Sinatra. Are you Italian? I am. I'm Italian American. Well, Italian American. <laughs> I mean, that is Frank Sinatra. Of course, uh, I think he is perhaps the greatest entertainer of the last century. You know, a lot of people say that. Yeah. Now, what do you think about Frank Sinatra? I love Frank Sinatra. I don't think a lot of people, there's not many people who don't like Frank Sinatra. It's tough to not like him. He's very well, talented. Extremely, extremely talented. Well, there's a guy by the name of Paul Lanka, and Paul Lanka is coming in this year uh, for a special, special ball uh, for charity. And he's been in my life since the 1950s. Back in those days, it was uh, put your head on my shoulder. <laughs> Now, this song is my way, and we'll begin with Christina. Watch, watch Christina now. I've been practicing. You've been since practicing last, since last week. week? Yes. 
just do one line from All right, here Frank we go. Sinatra <clears throat> okay, okay. and Christina and my way. I did it my way. <laughs> Here's the great Paul Anka. He wrote that song, and he does it right now on American Standards by the Sea. They're terrific. The great Paul Anka on American Standards by the Sea. And, you know, when I think back, I've been playing him since the 1950s, one of the greatest performers. And don't forget, he took that French song and with that lyric. It was Paul Anka who did My Way. And then Frank Sinatra took it Made to it a moon. huge hit. And you made a great star. Thanks. You're, you're, you're really. You're I've been really, taking voice lessons because yeah, I knew I mean, you were going to put me on the spot you, again. You can do everything. <laughs> you can do everything, and now even more so. Who was your favorite James Bond? Uh, I'd have to say Pierce Brosnan. I do Pierce? also like um, Daniel Craig. He's the one. He's the most recent then, James Bond. But Pierce looks the role. Yeah, but the guy who looked the role years ago, years ago, we used to go over to. Uh, the Bahamas and see him. His name was Sean Connery. Yes. Can you just put up a photo? Can you put up a photo there? Uh, can you get one of your people, Steve and <laughs> Steve, put up a photo of Sean Connery? Contestant number one. Contestant number two. Pierce Brosnan. Contestant number three. Daniel Craig. I think Pierce, still. Call us 800-723-4698. Here's a girl that was called the Bond girl. I remember her coming in down here uh, to the beautiful Kravis Center for the Performing Arts. She's incredible. She was going to buy something here and live in Palm Beach County. We used to see her in Monte Carlo. And uh, she is Shirley Bassey. And Bassey... He used to sing, one more, one more. I'm going to whisper. Cold finger, cold finger. <laughs> Here's Shirley Bassey on American Standards. Lady Christina, thank you. Here she is. All right, and we are coming out of James Bond song. <clears throat> On American Standards by the Sea, the great Shirley Bassey. And there was nobody who could sing those James Bond songs like Shirley Bassey. We have a flash. Christina has a flash. In yes, 2017, <laughs> in 2017, it was announced that Daniel Craig has officially announced, he has confirmed that he will be doing one more James Bond movie. So um, he seems to be a crowd favorite there, a fan favorite, so that'll be good. When, when is Sean, well, Sean uh, Connery, <laughs> if, you're, if you're viewing the program, when, when, are, you, uh, when are you coming back? <laughs> Sean Connery, please, please. It's all right, though, you're your favorite. He's coming back. We're going to do a feature now, okay? All right. One, two, three. It's the American Sanders by the Sea feature. Sounds like Aaron Shepard. Wow! What does everybody here think about that feature? If you have an idea about a feature for American Standards, telephone number right here, 800. <laughs> can you go over there with the, uh, please? The, the line under the 1-800-723-4698. Uh, you got it? one 800 Seven two three four six nine eight website Yada Music Y A C H T A Music dot com anywhere in the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Lady Christina to choose a hit. Well, don't be a hit man, be a hit lady. <laughs> we were talking about um, you know artists that I like and that you like, and one interesting intersection is Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. Um, huge hit album. It is. It is. Can you imagine Tony Bennett, 90? I've been playing his records since the 1950s. And, and, and
And what is it about Tony Bennett that we have here? He was there. You were there for his. Come over here. I come and back. She's back <laughs> again. Back again. I can't believe it. That's your friend. Yeah. She, we got to give her a name, a better name. We gotta I think her. Shelby GT is a pretty good name. Oh, the GT we didn't do last week. <laughs> yeah, I like Shelby GT. Shelby, what about Tony Bennett? You, you're in with Cher last week, and now this week, Tony Bennett? Tony what? Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. Where were you there? How come you see all these people? I just went to an Easter concert. But you went to Vegas to see Cher. Where did you see Lady Gaga? Uh, at the Bushnell. At the Bushnell. In, and I was in Connecticut. Connecticut. We used to do all the shows there, too. How'd you like it? He's amazing. Isn't he amazing? Yeah. I mean, when you think that I was playing his records back in the 50s, stick on the radio, you know, the 45, 78 RPM, uh, the, the, the um, what were they called? You I remember them. They yeah, were, I remember uh, they them, were, yeah. Uh, they were... Um, Cylinders. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Cylinders. <laughs> and after that, we had, the, uh, we had the 33 and a third. Uh, remember those? Talking about the actual records? A 45 RPM. You remember those? No, I, remember, I don't. Remember, remember, I remember CD ROMs. Remember the, remember the A tracks? No. Remember, um, what were we going to do here? Oh, Tony <laughs> Bennett and Lady Got. What happened? I saw them at the Bushnell. I went with my grandma and my mom. Yeah, come so in here. My, uh, my grandma went to see Tony Bennett. My yeah. mom went to see both, and I went to see Lady Gaga. So it all worked out. She, she is very, very... <laughs> very sensitive and I'll tell you one day we're sitting and and Tony Bennett was doing a performance with Lady Gaga and there was a spotlight that just needed to be moved just a little bit Steve and Steve that working and producing the program would know this but she said excuse me not hey no get the spotlight over she said excuse me the guy came over and said, could you just tilt that spotlight, please? Yeah. And the guy did it, and it was a right call, and it was absolutely beautiful. So now, ladies and gentlemen, GT, <laughs> Tony Bennett, and Lady Gaga on American Standards by the Sea. That was cute. Can't I? Can't believe it, can't believe it. Number one CD starting back in 17, 2017, way, way back then. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We announced that in 2017 it was announced that your friend's going to play. Daniel Craig will be. James Bond. Yeah. And also that was in 17, the number one album. Yeah. It just it is incredible. He's a wonderful Wonderful man. Now, Steve Sattler, our executive producer, director, and engineer. We get a bunch of calls, and they say, can Lady Christina <laughs> uh, describe the Legends Lodge? We can't tell where it is. Oh, we can't secret. tell where it is. So, so can you describe what, what this is? We can't tell where it is. Oh, shh. It's in, a, uh, it's in a oh. remote location. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It's expansive. It's cozy. It's warm. Beautiful, expansive, cozy. Yeah. Who, who built this? I can't tell you this information. <laughs> they, they smuggle me here uh, every, <laughs> every once in a while to the Legends Lodge. And we do our program from the Legends Loft. Everything is about legends. And it has to be alliteration. You know alliteration? Oh, yeah. Remember Elaine the Lovable, Elaine the Fair, Elaine the Lily Maid of Astrolot? What, what, how would you describe alliteration? Um, it's actually when the first letter of the word or the first sound of every word is the same. So, so Elaine the Fair, Lodge. Elaine the Lovable, mm. Elaine the Lily Maid of Astrolot. Yes, I'd say that's alliteration. <laughs> I'd say that's a wrap. <laughs> that's the end of our show. we got to go. No more music to play. No, no more, more to grammar stay. to go over. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll have another quiz next week on American Standards by the Sea. Dick Robinson right here. In the words of Duke Ellington, I love you madly. And Christina, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And when you spend time here at the Legends 
Lodge, you just have to go to the Legends Loft. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Night-night. <laughs>